And a very good day. This is a doublet centre or a dipole centre. It does both. I used one of these, well, not actually this one, to build the 160 metre, 80 metre fan dipole we had in the uh, put in the field a couple of months ago. Now, this has very slightly changed its design, uh, which is the reason for this uh, uh, video. This used to be six mil, quarter of an inch. It's now nine mil, which is nearly a third of an inch. It's just that it didn't need to be any thicker, right? But I could bend it very slightly with my hand. This is really, really hard. It's ultra high. No, it's not. <laughs> it's high density polyethylene. So it's completely UV. It won't crack, splinter and so on over five, ten years. It's actually used in the marine industry. All right. So because it's good for marine, I thought it'd be good for ham radio. And it is. It is the same stuff. As all our plates are made in that grey, which is actually a custom colour we have uh, bought in. We have to buy 60 8 by 4 sheets at a time. But they do white, so rather than breaking into our grey stock, I asked them to do this in white, but in 9mm. So let me run through the features with you. And somebody's after me. Right, well, we're upside down in a weird way, so I'll put it the right way up for you. So... I drew this out once on a piece of graph paper many moons ago and uh, because I have created a number of doublets in forests and everything else and the problem is quite close to the feed point area the cable stops and the cable is forever getting um what's the word it kind of breaks not aircraft you know metal fatigue and um so I made this thing a wee bit longer so we've got a hangy uppy if you want it our main dipole legs or doublet legs go here. These are drilled out at basically a quarter of an inch. It's actually six millimeters. All right. So you can screw in a six mil bolt and then, you know, connect it at the other end. So what do all the holes do? So obviously we've got the doublet coming in here. When we did the 160 meter, 80 meter dipole, if you remember, we had the both tension loops here and I put 160 here. I think I put 80 there. I might have put, I know I put them both on the same, the same hole, didn't I? But you could put different ones here or different strain relief or whatever, right? I think I did that actually. I think I put strain relief. I think I just wanted a little bit of separation up here. I don't know why, whatever. I had these little notches down the side uh, cut uh, just so that um, cable ties don't slip off. And then if you did have a doublet sent, uh, did use 450 ohm ladder line, you can thread it, you know, so it goes up there and down there and it never falls off anyway. So, I mean, it's all in design, isn't it? Right. It really doesn't matter how you cook it. People copy design, but it actually takes a bit of thought to do something like this. And it was like 20 years of experiments to go, hang on a minute, we've got this wrong. I need a tail down here to stop the feed point because the amount of times my feed point was breaking, it was just annoying the hell out of me. So that's on 450 ohm. If you want this as a coax fed, that's fine. We bring our coax up the middle here. We can cable tie around these holes and then you, you split your coax up, and put your one braid that way in the center that way whatever you want to do and then there's space down here or on 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 this bit here you could put a choke if you know what i mean uh, and that's fine fan dipoles dipoles or doublets uh, in a nine mil and these are now 22 pounds 50 because they were 19 pounds 50 but the material is a bit thicker so we put the price up uh, to reflect and there we are now if you're in the US and you want this as part of a project, what you could do is buy some DX50 line. You could get one of these, maybe some DX10, a couple of poles or whatever, and then this becomes an insignificant cost. But some people just bought these and have made themselves a doublet or a dipole, or whatever. You can cut these yourself out of a bit of old wood, out of um, some sort of nylon board that you've got lying around the kitchen, but it will fail. Okay, this won't crack or splinter or and it does what it says on the tin <laughs> it is a coax or 450 ohm uh, doublet center and if i talk any more about this i'm in danger of just waffling all right i have made a couple of videos with these one is um a no talking video and i'll put a link to that in the description and if you want to see me make the fan dipole that we use 
nearly every night at the moment actually, then uh, go and look at that also in the description. May the force be with you, all right? Enjoy your radio. I'll see you next time. Adios and bye for now.